Hello, I'm Andrew one Pratt, and today we'll be going over the process for counting wraps and layers on the cable reel assembly for the MH60 Romeo. This video is for training purposes only, and all maintenance procedures shall be performed in accordance with the appropriate publications, instructions, or manuals. In items, the first thing you see is a caution for counting wraps and layers. This is a QA step in items, and if at any time you are unsure of your count, please stop and don't be afraid to get second opinion from a local SME or QA representative. Caution. Determining and setting correct number of cable wraps and layers is critical. Improper counts, subsequent erroneous setups can cause damage to sonar cable and or loss of sonar transducer, WRA. Failure to comply may cause damage, destruction to equipment. End of caution. Counting wraps and layers shall be done with the cable reel uninstalled. Note, there are two color scales to determine the number of layers on the cable reel assembly WRA. If cable payout travel is port to starboard, the gap on port side, then there is an even number of layers and the even number red scale is used for layer count. If cable payout travel is starboard to port gap on starboard side, then there is an odd number of layers and the odd number green scale is used for layer count. These colored layer scales will directly correlate to the colored wrap scales on the reeling machine WRA index rod, such that the red scale on the index rod be used for wrap count if any even layer, and the green scale on the index rod be used for wrap count if any odd layer. Step 1. Determine and record the number of cable layers by reading the layer scale on side of the cable reel assembly WRA with the lowest count. This is a QA requirement. Alright, so as discussed in the note, the first thing you're going to determine is where the gap is. This gap is actually on the port side of this reel and the payout is going from port to starboard. So with that being said, you're going to utilize the red scale, which is our even count, and you're going to record the fullest number of whole layers. So in this case, this would be the 22nd layer that you have a full layer of. And then this one on top would be the 23rd layer. The one that you need to record is the one that has a full layer, so 22. So we're going to go ahead and write that down, 22 layers. Step two, there are two methods to determine the number of cable wraps. First method is to perform step A. And the second method is to perform steps B and C. Perform both methods and verify counts are the same. Step two, A. Determine and record the number of wraps by counting the number of cable wraps on the top layer at the position of the layer scales on the cable reel assembly WRA. This is also QA required. Alright, so like I said, there are two methods for counting wraps. The first one is going to be to physically count each individual wrap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So as of right now, you have 24 wraps. Go ahead and jot that number down. And then it's also a good thing to do the second step as well. Step 2B, position the index rod in line with the layer scales on the cable reel assembly WRA in the same orientation as installed in the reeling machine WRA. Step 2C, determine and record the number of cable wraps by reading the number on the index rod using the same color that determines the cable layer. This is also QA required. All right, so this is the second method of counting wraps, which you're gonna utilize the index rod. You're gonna place it on the cable reel assembly, just like you would see it in the aircraft. And you're going ahead and line it up on the top of the cable reel. 
And then you can see that each individual strand lines up with a number. And on this case, the last wrap that we have is actually right on line with 24. So that's exactly what we counted. So it's good to go ahead and utilize both met methods just so you come out with the exact number. Step three, after determining the amount of wraps and layers, you will need to account for cable wrap transition in the wrap count by subtracting one from the count obtained in the previous step. If the cable wrap transition is noted to occur within 180 degrees aft, counterclockwise from the layer scales, if the wrap transition occurs at 180 degree position opposite of the layer scales or between 180 degrees and 360 degrees counterclockwise, then do not subtract one from the wrap count. Record the resulting modified count. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and determine exactly where that transition section is. So, the 180 degrees is going to be on the back half of the cable reel, starting from this top section. So anything from here, 180 degrees to the bottom, if that's where your transition section occurs, then you're going to go ahead and subtract one. If you look over here on this cable and reel, I'm going to go ahead and turn it so you can see it. But this is where the transi transition section occurs, right here. So if you hold that straight, you can tell that this one is actually aft of the 180 degrees. And so with that being said, you're going to go ahead and subtract one. All right, so as of right now, for our layers, we have 22. And our wraps, we have 23 now. All right, and the last thing to do is to make sure you have your final count correct is you're going to go ahead and subtract one just to go ahead and count for that portion of cable that you're going to go ahead and pan out that goes all the way down to the transducer. So our final number is actually going to be one less than this, 22. So your final numbers are going to be 22 wraps and 22 layers. Thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to fill out the survey down below in the comments section, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also feel free to leave comments there.